Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. We have a full moon in Leo and I have a special message for you. Today's full moon in Leo is reminding you that you have within seeds of talents that need to be nurtured, but beneath them there are layers of suppressed emotions that need to be acknowledged. So you learn that you are not how you feel but rather what's beneath all that you feel. And that's an important realization because we often identify ourselves based on how we feel right now. But not often we pay close attention to what's beneath what we feel. Because all those emotions are nothing else but like notifications coming from our bodies, like what we need to pay attention to. And if we pay enough attention to what's going on soon, they will be released and we'll discover something that was for all that time hidden beneath them. And that's something truly powerful that is happening right now to many people. And of course, this is an uncomfortable journey because we are becoming more familiar with so much of stuff that was suppressed for many years and discovering the suppressed story, suppressed feeling, suppressed sensations may be uncomfortable for many of us, but more you pay attention without judging, just observation, easier it will be for you to accept what's coming up until you get at ease with all that release and suddenly you recognize, well, for all that time, there was something sleeping within you. There's an inner lion within all of us that can come to light with an awareness and power of will. For that, you need to develop mental discipline and emotional awareness. And that's something I want to talk a little bit today because just to recognize that there's a force within you. We could say an inner beast, but I mean it in a positive way because we all have within a power that encourages us to do something courageous, to do something that we just feel called to do, something I often mention to you. But not many people get in, in touch with that uh, internal force. So we firstly need to become aware that there's something within us that is kind of urging us to do something differently, to, to rather than, you know, consistent um, action based on certain automatic patterns, we question why we're doing what we're doing. And is this with alignment of the life I want to live? Or will this help me to become who I truly want to be, who am I truly meant to be? And that's where we start to discover that in order to realign ourselves with the version of ourselves we want to become, we need to develop a certain willpower. So what's willpower? It's like uh, f following and dedicating our lives to intentional living, to decision-based, to conscious-based decision living our lifestyle, where we consciously decide what we will do, which means that we start thinking with our own head, we start developing our own beliefs that may help us to become more of who we are meant to be, and that's Leo's energy, that's something powerful we can awaken within us. And for that you need to develop mental discipline and emotional awareness. So. Mental discipline means that you start paying more attention to what's happening in your mind and you recognize the thoughts you don't want to think anymore, beliefs you don't want to be defined by anymore and you question them, you become aware of them and then you refocus to something that can inspire you, empower you and slowly you detach from what's not serving you anymore. Slowly you release the limitations that were projected to you by your environment and you just don't need that anymore. So there's a beautiful quote by Anthony Gaudí. He was a Spanish architect and he said, originality consists of returning to the origin. So when it comes to self-discovery, it comes to discovery of the origin of who we are. 
And once you discover your own self, like who you are, you discover your own originality. And that's something truly beautiful an individual can discover because that's where you find something you want to share with the world. You want to share your own originality. You want to share who you are with the world. Not a copy of something, but of something that you truly are. And for that, we need to develop that awareness of our automatic patterns to recognize what's kind of navigating us through life. Is this like a heartfelt sensation or is this more like an unconscious uh, behavioral pattern? And what we are doing, is this fulfilling us or is it draining us? And of course not all the time we can control that, but we have moments in a day where we can control that, where we can become more aware of these patterns that are navigating us through life. And those are the times where you're making huge differences, where you're making huge changes. Like, for example, your free time. You know, the free time that you have. Those are, that's the moment where you decide, okay, is what I'm doing right now uh, fulfilling me? Is it helping me to recharge my batteries? Is it helping me to become who I want to become, who I want to be, or is this just draining me? Am I just distracting myself? Or for example, when you have conversations with your friends, your family members, your partner, whoever, are you just talking out of something like some automatic patterns? Or are you working on deepening the relationship, being honest, expressing your emotions? Those are completely different ways of how can we start to develop more awareness around what we are doing and how we feel about doing whatever we are doing. Leo is reminding you there's an inner lion within you and it can only be expressed with honesty, with awareness over how we feel and, and allowing our emotions to be expressed, not suppressed, but expressed. And often we, like we are used, we've been trained to suppress the emotions because of our ancestors. Many of our ancestors needed to suppress their emotions because they had no time, no knowledge, no tools to deal with whatever they've been through. So they've just suppressed all of that. But now we have time, we have opportunity, we have the right tools to deal with whatever we've received through our DNA and it's actually our responsibility to free the pain of our ancestors from us so we can become who we are meant to be. And it's important to know that, that this is your responsibility. And more you do that, more you will feel free. And that's where your, your ancestors will cel celebrate you. You will feel that moment of celebration like something in your body is awakening so awareness of patterns right now is so so important the second reminder i want to give you is awareness of um, your power of will because that's something that we need to develop like nothing can be built without the power of will and power of will is a sort of discipline, a sort of mental discipline that we start our days intentionally. Before we do anything, we set a conscious intention for doing that. And then this card of um, how we feel emotionally, we ask ourselves, well, what can I do today to get closer to where I want to be? And it doesn't mean that you force yourself, but you ask yourself, is there a way to get a bit closer to the realest version of myself that I can be? And that's how we slowly start developing that power of will. And training our mental capacities is so important when it comes to that, because if you're not like educating yourself about the topics that could help you to to get deeper into yourself, to be more of yourself, you will feel like nothing supports you. And that's where you start uh, building up your own supportive system, a system that will support your work. And that's where we need to educate ourselves. That will help you to build a power of will. 
The second thing that comes to the power of will is uh, the trust, the self-trust that can be built by trusting into the words we are saying. Like when you say what you want to do, you also start doing that. You make a plan and you follow the plan. If you say that you will do something and then you don't do it, it means that uh, you lose the trust into yourself. Do it for enough time and you will not believe into anything you will say to yourself. And then people say, well, I want to change. But at the same time, you don't believe into those words. You don't believe that you want to change because your actions are showing something differently. And that's what your body believes to. So to train the power of will, you need to set what you want to do. You need to make a plan and you need to follow that plan. And for many people, it may be something that can pull themselves out of spontaneity. And it is pulling us out of spontaneity. That's why we need balance. We need to be spontaneous, but we also need to have a plan. And the reason for that is that most of the things, like 95% of the things, we do not out of spontaneity, but out of our genetic DNA and and um, collective programming. So most of the things we don't do intuitively. We don't do out of um, our soul call. We do it out of programs of society and our ancestry. And freeing ourselves from those programs, like when people say freeing yourself from the matrix, means that you develop a power of will and you start doing more of what truly resonates with you. You decide to do it. You make a good plan and you follow that plan and you seek for balance. You strive for balance. When you need to take a rest, you rest. When you need to rejuvenate yourself, you do something that helps you to rejuvenate yourself. When you feel that you're lacking doing something that sparks love within you, you search for the things that can help you with that. You do what you love to do. You focus on what brings you joy and you pay attention to that. But most importantly, what's the main pillar when it comes to, to evolution of yourself is finding your unique talents. It means finding your fingerprint, finding your originality and developing that so we can adapt our character to our originality like our identity, the way we behave, the way we are in our daily life, we need to develop that part of ourselves to our originality so we become original once again, right? And that's something that just comes up with this Leo's energy and it is an important reminder. I want to leave you here, my friends. I hope you found something valuable today. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful celebration of this special full moon and till next time, one love.